Hello everyone, Coach Lockie here. Fun video for you today. This one is going to make you look as good as possible out on that golf course. No matter what your ability, this isn't going to help your golf one bit, but you will look like you know what you're doing. Before we get started over in my little corner here, let's do a little giveaway. I'm going to give away a packet of ERC soft triple track Callaway golf balls and a putt out. If you want to win that dozen golf balls and putt out pressure trainer, make sure you're hitting the like button, hitting the subscribe button and commenting down below your top bit of advice for a beginner golfer. Come on, in the comments down below, what would you advise? Right, let's get into the video. First things first, clothing. Some no-nos like cargo -y jeans with pockets on, no. Depending on what gender and stuff you are, I would probably say that visors are a no. Poulter's pretty much the only guy that pulls that off and I'd say that's a little bit questionable. And did you ever see those sandal golf shoes? Like sandals, playing golf. Like that is something my dad wears. <laughs> I'd suggest having at least two or three pairs of golf shoes. If you're a regular golfer playing two or three times a week, it is cool to rock up in different shoes each time. And it gives each pair a bit of a breather. And lastly, the top part of your body has to be branded. Callaway apparel for me and a good color combo. So I've got blue jacket, blue jumper, blue t-shirt and matching with my gray trousers. Golf clothing, rule number one. Next up, a lot to do with this and how this is looking. Biggest no-no is having these things, your long drivers with the head covers on at the bottom of your bag. You can't have your short clubs at the top, long ones at the bottom. Where are all my mid-irons gone? They're hiding under these head covers, look. All disappeared and smashing against my lovely handcrafted, only eight people in the world have touched it, yellow golf shaft. Bashing it, making marks. No. Always have the lofted clubs at the bottom and then your mid-irons in the middle to your long irons and woods at the top. Look how that sits. Can access all clubs, can see all numbers. Putter also sits at the top as well. Rule number two, bag layout. Very important. Next thing, your bag towel. Clip-on towels are a no-no. If you want to look as good as possible, your towel has got to sit in between your golf clubs. So I've got a massive golf towel, grab it in the middle, like so, same length either side, and it goes in between driver and putter on the top. Your other woods sit below it. So it's tucked nicely in between, look. These two you're gonna be getting out the most, driver and putter. Woods, fairway woods, rarely get used, putt and par fives possibly, but it sits in there and that doesn't come out. Look how tight that is. That is not coming out. None of tucking it in your handles, no clip-on towels. And if you want to be a real, real cool sort of looking pro, this should be white, if I'm being honest. A big white bag towel is crucial. Mine's grey. Perhaps I'll have to order a white one. That's a biggie. Get your towel tucked in between your driver and putter. Also protects that driver shaft again. And the last bag tip, you've got to have head covers on these woods and hybrids and putter. You can't be rocking round, carrying your bag with them dinging and bashing. These have to have these on them. Get your head covers on, people. So there's your first steps to looking good before you even get out on the golf course, what you're wearing and how your bag's set up. Let's get out on the golf course now to give you some more ideas of how to look as good as possible. So out on the golf course, let's give you some tips to look better when you get out here. First up, how to tee it up. So if you're a right-handed golfer, club in your left hand, foot has to go back and up and use this golf ball to put the pressure on your tee. Don't push it in with your finger, 
put the golf ball on top of the tee and really use that golf ball as leverage to get that tee in. Can't be seeing any of this. No club on the ground stuff, kneeling down together using two hands to tee it up. That is a no-no. Club in one hand, ball in the other, use that ball to really leverage and pressure that tee into the ground. And while we're on the subjects of tees, please, please, please do not be that person that has three different sized tees all strung together with a bit of string so you don't lose it. One golf tee, loads in your pocket. Do not tie them together so you don't lose them. Come on. How you carry your bag, really important. I've got a carry bag here, two straps, high on your back, nice and sturdy. I don't want to see any bags down on your bum with your clubs bashing like this. Get it nice and high up on your back. Good players often put their arm around their clubs as well as they're walking, so there's no rattling going on as well. Down by your bum is not a good look. And also, no one arm under slings when you miss hit it like this. Using the handle, the sorry walk of about a 10, 15 yard shot that you've just hit. None of that. Next up is bag placement and pre-shot routine. So always make sure if you're a right-handed golfer, you put your bag just to the right of your ball. Left-handers just to the left. And then it's pre-shot routine. Get your glove out your pocket get the glove on. Number two, range finder. If you've got one or GPS device, find out what your yardage is. Give it a zap. Next up, look at the wind. Is it off the left, off the right? Into, downwind, taking in what is happening with this golf shot. Have your hand on your clubs as well as if you're really thinking about what club to take and what shape shot you might hit. Even though you know it's going to be a slice, just think that it might be a draw, you know? And then when you're ready, Take your club, pick it, give it a good pull, a few steps back, then you have to do the little shirt pull. Roll your sleeve up a little bit on your lead arm and then you're into your practice swing. Good couple of practice swings, really visualizing that shot and what you want it to do. And then step behind the ball, pick your target, three steps in and you're into your shot. Good solid bag placement next to, your, uh, next to your ball and then a good pre-shot routine. And then once you've hit, we need a club twirl. Oh yeah, that is nice. Quick club clean back in the bag, pick your divot up, replace it. Bag on your back, you know, straps over both shoulders, arms around your club so they don't rattle. Off to the next tip. Finally, a few last tips to make you look as good as possible when you're on the golf course. The putting green. One big no-no, you can't putt with your glove on. Come on, take it off. Seeing people putt with their glove on when you don't need it for any extra grip or anything when you're on the putting green. Come on, take it off. It's one less thing that you need to worry about putting this on and off, isn't it? Once you've hit your shot on the green, on that last shot, take it off, put it in your pocket until the next tee. Next thing to looking good. If you know this ball is going in before it hits the bottom of the cup, walk after it. Make sure that you're there, picking that ball up as if you know that it wasn't gonna miss. But be careful. Don't be confused with this one. The early walk because you've hit such a disastrous putt. Oh God, what have I done? It's not that, it's the I've hit a good putt. That is tracking and that is going in. Make sure you walk after it. And my final tip on the putting green, like the tee shots, club in one hand, leaning against it. One leg's got to go airborne while the other one stays planted and pick it out with two fingers. That is the perfect way to get that ball out of that hole after you've walked it in. So there you go. There's my top tips to making yourself look as good as possible when playing golf. Forget actually playing better. Just make sure that you do look as good as possible. 
in the comments down below if I've forgotten any and there's any obvious ones that you think make people look better at golf make sure you're writing them in the comments down below also write in the comments down below to get enter the giveaway make sure you're hitting that like and subscribe button if you're enjoying the content hang on I've just thought of one more you've got to be good at doing this you've got to be good at the flick and catch like if you're on the practice area you've got a practice bag in your hand you flick with one knock it into the bag and catch if you can't do this are you even a golfer come on get that ball lodged in the heel of the club give it a good flick up there's an extra little bonus tip for you thanks all for watching see you all in the next video